Hi everyone, how are you guys? Um, happy Thanksgiving week. I am so thankful and grateful for all of you guys, um, for all of my subscribers, <clears throat> for my soul tribe, for my family um, here on YouTube, and just wanted to come on and do a new moon reading for the twins today, uh, but really wanted to express my gratitude to you guys um, for always supporting me, um, for you know liking, subscribing, everything that you guys do for the channel, for sending me decks, um, booking personal readings. Guys, I'm just so grateful for all of you, for each and every one of you. Um, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, as we move into the holiday season, um, I am really excited because I actually started my YouTube channel almost a year ago. Um, and so, you know, it's really come such a long way and I know I've been, I haven't been on the channel as much lately because obviously this is a very busy time of year. Um, but I just wanted to come on and express my gratitude for all of you guys. Um, you know, this is not an easy journey <laughs> by any means and there's always twists and turns and there's always things happening. Um, and so I'm just so happy to be on this wild ride with all of you. So I just wanted to come on and express my gratitude and I hope that you guys all have a great Thanksgiving week. It's a great time, especially now with the new moon, um, to set your intentions, uh, maybe even set your intentions for the end of the year, set your intentions for the new year, um, you know, and also to just remember, you know, why we're on this journey and to be grateful for everything that it's brought us. Um, even through, I know sometimes it's very painful, even through the pain, because without pain, there wouldn't be progress, right? So... Um, just wanted to come on and say that if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Molly. I'm the Happy Soul Coach. Um, I am an intuitive uh, card reader. I do all types of readings, but for the most part on my channel, I uh, specialize in twin flames and soul connections. If you guys want to book a personal reading with me, all the information is below. Um, I have changed my readings around a little bit, so make sure that you guys are clicking uh, on the website there and it will tell you the readings that I'm offering at this time. I am currently closed for coaching at this time. I will most likely be reopening that um, sometime in the new year. Uh, thank you to everyone who sent me decks. My Amazon wish list is below. You guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you to everyone who's made donations. Um, I use that to buy things for the channel like crystals and candles and just things to help improve the channel. So I'm very, very appreciative. I will be open for emergency readings um, Thanksgiving weekend, okay? So now my emergency readings are within a 48-hour turnaround time. Um, you guys don't need to email me beforehand if I'm available. Um, I will be through this weekend. I know it's the holidays, so it can be a little bit hard sometimes, and there may be shifts that are going on, especially with the new moon. So I am making myself available to you guys, okay? So let's go ahead and get into the reading. Again, I read for the collective, so it may or may not resonate with you. If it doesn't, no worries, just click off. It's not the reading for you. If it does, you guys, I'd love for you to like and comment. I love to read through all of your comments. Um, and you know, again, I read for the collective. So sometimes when I say he or she, male, female, it doesn't, it's not gender specific. It's actually energy. We all possess the masculine and feminine energy within us, okay? Um, so again, if it does resonate with you and you guys are enjoying my channel, please subscribe um, and click the little bell notification that'll notify you guys when I actually uh, post new videos, okay? So without further ado, let's find out what the heck is going on with the twins after this new moon. New moon in Sagittarius, right? We're closing out the year, guys. It's almost here. All right. So I just want to call my spirit guides, guardian angels, ascended masters, five and above. Please let me be a clear channel for the collective today. Please guide us to the answers that we need to know. I will be doing um, a karmic extended reading. I know I said I was going to do one last week and things just got a little crazy. I will be doing one very soon for you guys. So this isn't necessarily going to be a karmic reading. Um, if you guys are in a karmic situation and you want to dive a little deeper, you know, again, I can always do a personal reading for you. Okay, so let's get started. So let's find out who is our divine masculine. Where is his energy at right now, guys? The death card. First card out. They're saying, okay, um, there's a lot of uh, purple energy surrounding the divine masculine right now, which is divine energy. Okay, that's crown chakra. Three of wands. This divine masculine knight of swords, yeah. Yeah. 
What's interesting about this deck, and you know, again, I was guided to use this deck for this reading today. I haven't used it in a while. There is um, almost like a sort of begging energy here. I feel like this divine masculine, the ego, the ego is dying right now. Okay. And it's kind of like, I feel like he's going to beg for this feminine back. Interesting. But there's a lot of purple energy and look, he's holding a crown. See, I said crown chakra. There's a lot of divine stuff. You guys just saw the light change there. <laughs> Whoa. Um, there's a lot of divine stuff, for lack of a better word. A lot of divine intervention happening right now. Things are starting to speed up now that he's releasing his ego. He's thinking about the future. I feel like he's truly, this divine masculine is going to beg for his feminine back. Like beg. I mean, on his hands and knees. And asking her for forgiveness. Are you kidding me? The judgment card. What did I say? There's a lot of divine intervention going on right now. Judgment day is here. To get the death and the judgment card in the same spread. Things are really, really, really speeding up right now. Really speeding up for this divine masculine. And look at this. It's like these people, you know, they're like their hands are up. These people, their hands are up, almost like begging, right? Hands are up to an authoritative figure. This divine masculine has been brought to his knees, you guys, by the divine. And in a good way to help him clear out that ego. I mean, literally three cards where their hands are up, like, please please this is i feel very much that this divine masculine has been going through a dark night of the soul wow divine feminine where's our divine feminine at right now where's her energy what's going on with her at this time the temperance beautiful you guys the knight of pentacles i have to show you <clears throat> the four of cups the Queen of Wands and the King of Swords. Okay. The Temperance card. Look at this. Look at how beautiful this feminine is on here, right? Healing, balance. It's been slow. It's been slow for her. It's a progression. She was holding on to things that didn't serve her with the Four of Cups. This could be, and I feel like this, it's funny on this card, I feel like they're like gossiping, right? So she was holding on to very 3D ego type of situations. She's now cleared those out. She is now, look at this guys, Queen of Wands and the King of Swords. She is in her effing power. I mean, this is like not taking shit from anyone. Standing in her power, she has healed. She has released so many things that no longer serve her. She's balanced. The separation from her divine masculine was meant for her to be able to come back into this power to really understand and remember who she truly is. She's standing in her truth. She's standing in her clarity. She's manifesting the things that she wants in her life. She's in her goddess energy. Like this is very much goddess energy. Okay. Masculine is going through dark night of the soul. He's literally had, I mean, I'm telling you, there's so much purple energy, like crown chakra, divine intervention. The divine has brought him, I'm telling you, to his knee. He is on his knees right now. He's going to beg for this divine feminine back because now she's standing in her power. Let's find out about communication. Is our divine masculine going to communicate? Eight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. This is beautiful. So there may be a situation where this Divine Masculine has had to walk away from a karmic. This could be the mother of his children. Walking towards something that is going to provide him more. The Seven of Wands. 
walking away, I feel like there was, um, walking away from something he was fighting. He was fighting something. Yeah, the Seven of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So I've got two queens here. Two sevens as well. So sevens represent spirituality. So again, there was a big push to move away from this deception this again i do feel like there was a karmic situation here we're not going to again we're not going to dive into that but walking away from things that no longer serve him as well just like this divine feminine as far as communication goes the the swords here do represent truth and clarity right This Divine Masculine is figuring it right. I, I don't feel that he's going to reach out very soon. And the reason why is because he's truly in kind of the throes of his um, his dark night of the soul right now. He's still walking away from situations that don't serve him. He's still going through that ego death. Okay. The biggest thing right now is you are in your power. Divine Feminine is okay. The separation is necessary. The separation is there for him to... Um, clear out the rest of these things before he comes forward to you. Let's see if we can get a time frame on the communication. Yeah, the interference, the Eight of Swords. Okay. So again, right now, again, he's feeling a little bit trapped right now. He's feeling a little bit trapped. He's not able to get his words out the right way. Okay. So that's why he's not coming forward at this time. I do feel like, again, there's a karmic situation that's interfering with this communication with you. So the best thing you can do right now, divine feminine that are watching this, is meet him on the 5D, okay? Lots of 5D communication, letting him know that it's safe to come forward to you in the 3D, okay? They're not giving me a time frame. So again, but know that this is moving in the right direction. We have the Knight of Swords up here, okay? What's interesting is we have the Knight of Swords for the Divine Masculine and the Knight of Pentacles for the Divine Feminine. This is the swift moving night. This is the slow moving night, okay? So know that there's a lot going on for him right now. He needs your support in the 5D, holding that space of compassion for him when he's ready to come forward. And he will communicate, okay? It's just not anytime really soon for this collective. Okay, let's find out about union. Guys, the sun. The nine of cups. This is... Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy. Look at this. This It's almost like this angel is delivering this cup, right? This is all of the wishes being fulfilled. The sun is one of the most beautiful cards you can get in the deck. I just looked at the clock. It was 1331. Mirroring. All of the wishes are coming true. This couple is going to come into union. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles. You guys, I can't even make this up. Look at, he's begging. Again, on his hands and knees, begging. The Six of Pentacles is all about balance. They're saying restoration. The restoration of the balance. The balancing of the masculine and feminine energy. Giving and receiving. The Six of Pentacles is also about giving and receiving. And so... Right now, again, this Divine Feminine, she's standing in her power, right? She's not giving the Divine Masculine her power, but she's very balanced right now with this Temperance card. She's very, um, her energy is balanced between her Masculine and Feminine, and that's exactly what's, what's needed for union to happen. Now, just the Divine Masculine needs to balance his Masculine and Feminine energy out and continue to let that ego die. Union. The devil. (laughs) 
what's interesting is the devil is Capricorn. Um, so I do feel like, again, um, if we're talking about a timeline, and you guys know I don't love to read timelines on Union, but I feel like there's going to be a lot of movement in January. I wasn't feeling it through the end of this year because there's still some sort of karmic situations that are interfering with this. But the devil represents Capricorn, which again is end of this year, beginning of next year. And when the sun card came out, I kept thinking it's like a brand new beginning. And so I feel like this union is going to happen in that time frame. But let's clarify the devil a little bit farther. What is this devil card about, spirit? And we're talking about union. Huh, yep, look at this. The Three of Swords, it just fell right here next to this interference, the karmic situation. This union is going to happen when the third party situation gets cleared out, which is going to be in January. New Year. Let's pull one more card for you. Amazing. Again, I feel like they. That this could be mother of children. I feel like this could be a marriage that's coming to an end. Yeah. The five of wands. Yeah, the conflict. There was a lot of conflict um, around this karmic situation. And that's being cleared out. And if you look at this card, like look at this dragon. Like this dragon is literally like... you know, blowing the fire. And then these people are like, kind of like defending, defending themselves here. Um, and again, I feel like there was a very heavy karmic situation going on guys. And it's so funny. I didn't want this to be a karmic read, but it just came out very, very, very heavy situation going on with the karmic. You guys have to realize that the divine is stepping in at this time. Okay, I'm going to pull just a couple of oracle cards here. Yeah, morning affirmations, guys. What are you saying um, in the morning that you're grateful for? Say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. Okay, so again, make sure you guys are staying in that gratitude place. Set your sights higher. Increase your standards and expect more for yourself. Don't settle. So again, I feel like Divine Feminine, you're already in that energy right now, okay? You have set your sights higher. You're like, I'm not going to settle for anything less than what I deserve. And that's exactly the energy that you need to be in. There is a very heavy karmic situation going on. You know what? Let's... I wasn't planning on doing this, but let's pull about the karmic situation. What do we need to know about this? It's going to be cleared out. The Four of Swords. Healing. Healing from this situation. The High Priestess. There's divine intervention. There's secrets coming. Hmm. There's some, something is being exposed. There is a very high level of healing going on from this right now. I'm very high. I mean, I'm, when I tell you guys high level, I mean, I saw purple energy crown chakra right as the death card came out. The divine is helping him lose his ego so that he can fully move away from this situation. This deceptive, yeah, nine of pentacles. <laughs> The Nine of Pentacles represents luxury. It also represents self-love and also, um, like again, a single person. Okay, so this karmic situation is coming to an end, guys. Last card, please. For the karmic situation. It's like the divine... Oh, we got two. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles and Two of Cups, guys. This... Okay, so again, it's a progression.
this divine masculine is now understanding where he needs to, they're saying, place his bets. Almost like, a, like, not with this situation here. This is such heavy, heavy karmic energy here. Then it, what happens is, is that there's this divine intervention that comes in, right? There's this healing that comes in from this karmic situation. Divine masculine is then going to be single, okay? When he's in that energy, he's let go, right? He's come to his knees. He now understands this divine connection. Ace of Pentacles and Two of Cups. This is when he's able to come forward to his true partner. With this, I mean, look how big this Ace of Pentacles is. Like that pentacle, right? They're showing me like he's rebuilding. He's rebuilding. So if you see like he's got all these pentacles here, right? Because he's single. He's let go of this karmic situation. He's got all of these pentacles. He's ready to give his pentacle to his two of cups. Again, this karmic situation, there is a lot of healing that needs to take place in this. Wow, guys, I was not expecting this. Okay, so let's close it out with close it out with one card from yeah move forward with eagerness and do not be scared it is time okay so again this is your divine masculine right now too he's moving forward okay it is time like the divine is clearing all of this out right now you keep moving forward divine feminine your union is happening in the new year okay Keep moving towards the light. Keep meeting your divine masculine on the 5D. That's really, really important right now while he's clearing out this very heavy karmic situation. Wow, guys, I was not expecting that. So this new moon, what's happening right now is helping him clear out his ego death, okay? Helping him clear out this karmic situation that's very heavy, okay? So you just keep being the light, standing in your power, and you've got this. All right, guys, I'm sending you so much love and light. If you want to check into your personal situation, I am available for emergency readings and all and other readings as well. All the information will be below. I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. Um, I will be on the channel a little bit over the weekend, so I will see you guys soon. Take care.